Now I know that you've been bombarded today with videos about the new Stealth 2 driver. So I thought you might want to take a look at every single product from the new Stealth 2 lineup. And I'm out here in Carlsbad at TaylorMade's headquarters to give you that first look and to make sure I can give you the perfect evaluation. I'm here at the Kingdom to get custom fit. So that's me finished, custom fit all done at the Kingdom. And trust me, some of the performance I got was uh, pretty impressive. Even Perry liked it. But we've got a lot of product to go through because uh, this Stealth 2 range has got some real interesting new developments within this lineup that uh, I think we need to have a little bit of a chat about. So you've, like I said, already heard a great deal about the driver today. That is always going to be the flagship model that everybody wants to talk about. But for me, I want to start off by looking at Fairway Woods because there's a line that's been introduced that didn't appear in the original Stealth and I think it is a real interesting addition. And for many average golfers, this is the club that could be the standout club in this new Stealth 2 range. Let's see if we can get one going with the camera on because I'm super impressed with this and the balls we've hit off camera. Yeah, this thing is, it's a weapon, let me tell you. And the way this thing is put together is very much aimed at, like I said, the average golfer and the things it does to make life a little bit easier. It's really interesting. Right, so what makes this product so interesting in terms of its technology? Well, first of all, it's a very different head profile than uh, the sort of standard products. And you can see it's very much a sort of lower profile, elongated, overall just a bigger structure. And for me, the first thing that does is breed confidence, but I also like how shallow this sits at address. That's something that really suits my eye in terms of fairway woods. There's a little bit more loft on both the three and the five wood, and I assume that uh, carries on throughout the range. A little bit more loft than, again, the standard products. It's draw bias, that HD is gonna help a lot of golfers who struggle with slice. But for me, it's just the ability to get that ball up and airborne. Obviously, CG placed way back. There's a lot of forgiveness packed in there. And like I said, it's doing all the things that most of us average golfers need in terms of a bit of help and assistance. I really do think that could appeal to many, many golfers. So what's next? So that is a real interesting product for me and very much aimed at the average golfer. The next product we're gonna look at in this stealth range is still a fairway wood, but this is perhaps aimed at the better player. It is the new Stealth 2 Plus titanium fairway wood. I'm going to hit a five wood in it very, very soon. There's something very different going on in terms of a movable weight. This thing is incredible in terms of the way it performs. I've got to be honest with you, I struggled with the previous models of this in that perhaps didn't quite generate enough club head speed to make this thing work because, well, in terms of CG placement, MOI, it wasn't the most forgiving setup. This movable weight changes all of that. And believe me, the club, the ball rather, goes off this club like an absolute rocket. Even the crisp crack from it is so satisfying. That's a five wood, like I said, the thing absolutely flies out. We've tried three wood as well, which again, I've been very much against in recent years in terms of for average golfers because of the kind of limitations in terms of ball flight. What's interesting about this thing is not only is the loft adjustable, but by moving that weight around, you can also make a huge difference in terms of ball flight, in terms of spin. So it becomes a very versatile product. So for me, Two new products from this Stealth 2 lineup are fairway woods that are very much standout products aimed at different categories, but either one that you look at is equally as impressive in terms of its performance. Right, what's next? Oh my word, that's a decent one. To start off, which is, uh, I'm gonna have to see that one down, wow. 
that's gone a long long way now obviously i can't ignore the driver everyone's going to get excited about seeing the new stealth 2 and there's plenty to talk about carbon wood is still there there's some tweaks and changes and i'll do all of that kind of detail in-depth review we'll back it up with some data later on but there's a few things that have changed first of all visually you'll see that from last year's model as a bit of an addition of red certainly a change in the crown there's a difference between the sort of standard model and the plus model overall it's going to get people excited again what they've really concentrated on this year in both these models is improving the forgiveness element again very much claiming to have uh, made that sweet spot that much bigger again now like i said i'm not going to try and uh, prove or disprove that theory right now all i can tell you is from the custom fit i went through yesterday it was super impressive with what we got out of it in terms of numbers and i think again this is going to be a, a real big seller for uh, for tailor made how much it's come on from the original stealth like i said remains to be seen as we progress and do a lot of testing through the year but again super job you'll see i've got my proforce v2 shaft in again and that head combination uh, head shaft combination it's been so so good to me so yeah super impressed but we're going to move on to something that's uh, very new and very interesting okay so that next interesting product is in fact an iron well it's an iron of sorts if you go back to a video I did not so long ago, we looked at uh, the TaylorMade DHY product and my suggestion was that TaylorMade looked at making uh, a full set of those right through the bag. They've almost done that. I don't suppose they listen to me, but the new Stealth HD iron is uh, very much a sort of driving hybrid iron, if you like. We've seen it from other manufacturers and now TaylorMade have produced their version, which is really, really impressive indeed. First of all, let's take a look at the profile of this thing and how it very much differs from what we've come to expect from the sort of standard iron lineup. So this is very much a different kind of profile than I've seen from TaylorMade ever and it's a kind of an odd shape in many ways. The face on the majority or the height rather of the face on the majority of the irons through the set is very shallow. Um, it's almost like squatted down. You can see a very sort of rounded and cambered uh, sole as well and a very wide sole, very wide top line and that changes. Uh, it's very much progressive through the set so when you get down to the pitching wedge which I've got in hand and sort of nine iron maybe even eight iron you see less and less of that back end and like I said we've seen this in models before for, but it's really interesting what they've done with this in that they feel really good which is an odd thing to say for this type of iron but the sort of sound and what resonates in feel is really really impressive but the ball flight is ridiculous out of these things it's so high and towering it's got the kind of all the kind of performance criteria met if you like in a max game improvement iron so these things again i think are just going to appeal to so many golfers and i think even if you were perhaps opposed to these in the shorter end of the bag then the idea of mixing sort of standard stealth irons which are they're carrying on through into 2023 into the hd product at the longer end maybe into the sort of uh, seven six five iron depending on where you want to go with this is a real option because again what they've done with this lineup if they've made it visually very very similar indeed so if you've got a set of these in the bag a mixed set that is i don't think there's any great uh, difference like i said from a visible element and it's certainly they very much complement each other so yet again very much aimed at the sort of um I would say the average golfer, maybe even the higher handicap golfer, but I'd have no problem in gaming these on a personal level. Certainly, like I said, at that longer end because the performance out of these things is crazy good. So it'll be interesting to see when we get back home, we do an in-depth review of these, just how they perform in terms of dry ball data. And what I'm actually seeing sort of down range is that uh, how that translates, like I said, into numbers. But yeah, another real interesting product added to the lineup. And it's really why I've concentrated on not one product but the whole stealth 2 lineup because i hope you're starting to grasp the idea that there's, there's a lot of new products added to the lineup and particularly the hd models that i think are going to prove very very valuable to a lot of golfers and last but not least is the hybrids of course and there's again three models this introduction of the hd model is another addition they're very much again 
aimed at different players but I think the biggest thing that changes first and foremost is the profile and which one you like visually that's the first thing if I'm perfectly honest with you yeah again I'm just super impressed with this HD model it just does everything that uh, majority of people who watch my channel will be looking for and I think that's it's forgiving it's high launching it's just a real good all-round performer so yet again another product addition into that HD lineup that I think is going to appeal to the masses but there's no doubt these things are uh, driver that is are going to be the th that's where all the noise is and I can't wait to have a sort of in-depth look at them um, but overall my assessment of Stealth 2 is super impressive and ultimately you've got to get out there give these things a go for yourself. So my question is this, you've seen an overview of everything. What I'd like to know from you is, is there any standout parts you think might appeal? Anything that's drawing you in? Are you gonna be looking to give anything a go as soon as this hits the stores very, very soon? I hope you enjoyed watching it. This is a super, super facility. As I've already said, I'm gonna carry on hitting some golf balls. We're going out on the golf course. We're doing some testing of uh, these clubs as well on course and no doubt you'll see that in future videos. So thanks for watching this and I'll see you all soon.